So Tamara asked me a question yesterday on one of my videos in the comment section. And she asked me, was the narc handsome? She said, because her narc was a handsome devil. Okay. So let me, and I ain't throwing shade because I'm not dealing with him no more. But I'm just telling y'all the truth, like what it is and what it ain't. Okay. So right now. He, he was he was cute to me and it actually grew on me because I say that his looks grew on me because I was crazy about him when he was younger but which he was still older than me so when he was in his younger days he was fine as why but now that he's older and he's up there, he's in his 50s. He was not a sight for sore eyes, not like that. And I'm gonna say it like that because the games that he played and the way that he moved around, you would have thought that this man was the, the best thing since sliced bread right now. In his right now, today appearance. No, no ma'am. He, I'm trying to not use specific words. You know how they say you got big B energy, okay? He had the sexy man energy, but he ain't sexy like that now. So like you ain't got it like that right now. So like it's the time when you need to know your place. He know his place, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna say he didn't carry himself like he was sexy. He did. He did not. He carried himself like he was. He knew he wasn't that attractive. You know what I'm saying? Right now. But back in the day, that's that's when he he had it going on. He was fine as fine. But now that you're older, which I, I told y'all, I used to tell him, give me your player card because you. You ain't got it no more. It's not there no more. You're messy. You know what I'm saying? All of your stuff is falling out the bag. Now it's time to just give it up. Hand the player card on over to somebody else who can do something with it now because you done got older, baby. Your your looks are not the same. The body is not the same. Not that none of this stuff is important, but she asked the question. Was he handsome? He was cute to me. He was handsome to me at times. He was sexy to me at some times. But if I have to say, if he is the, the type of man that I normally go for, no, he is not. He's not. But like I say, it grew on me because I had a thing for him when I was younger and I couldn't have him. And he looked it like the, the, the best thing since sliced bread. But now, no. And then it was funny that she asked me that too because that split second that I seen that picture, because I'm telling you, when I seen that picture, y'all, I hit delete so quick, it was like an automatic reaction. So like the glimpse that I did get, because it was two pictures, the glimpse that I did get, I was looking at that picture like, I don't even know who this man is. And is this what I really was going ham for? Like, I mean, like the way he played the games that he played with me, I don't know if it would have been it would felt better if he was somebody that looked like somebody that you know okay I give him that type of person like brother was fine you know what I'm saying like I told y'all about the guy who was stealing my energy and whatever he my type of guy looks dress department all of that now mind you my last night that I was just with 50 years old did not dress up. He dressed up every now and then, but for the most part, he walked around with his so-called uniform on, which is covered in paint or whatever, because like I told y'all, he was trying to pull women with his job. So most of the time, he stayed in his uniform, walking around everywhere, all out of town. He even wore it to my niece's graduation. He walked in with this shirt on that got paint all over it the pants that he wears the paint in and everything so that's how he looked on a regular basis and to be honest with you when he was with me 
I made him look like somebody. You know what I'm saying? But the way he, I, I got so angry yesterday when I seen that picture because when I seen that picture and seen what I was looking at, he was in that same goddamn outfit with the paint on it. And I was sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, girl, this man that ran you through the mud looking like this. Not that it matters on how he looked, but he tried to have this image of he's a player. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody want him. And really, he don't nobody really want him like that. But he got his supply who give him that confidence just like I gave him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, dang. I had to ask myself, well, like, well, would, it, would it have mattered if he looked fine and played these games with you? No, it would not. It would not. But I'm just saying, looking at what I looked at yesterday made me so mad, like, Everything that I seen was fake. It was made up in my own imagination because that potential that I saw in him, I seen that potential for everything. So it was like now I done took off the rose colored glasses and I could see just what was in front of me all of this time. We didn't match on certain levels, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay because opposites attract, you know what I'm saying? But I guess I'm a shallow hal, a, a shallow Hallie, I guess, because when she asked that question, no, he ain't. He, if, if yours is a handsome devil, then I don't know, but. Nah, he, he had a beautiful smile. His smile is what made up everything for him, for me. That smile made him sexy. That smile made him cute. That smile made him handsome. If he didn't have that smile, with right now body, his older body, he wouldn't have had a chance. But... When he stepped to me, I kept that image of him when he was younger. And I believe that's how, that's how I got pulled in. I, I, I do believe that. But just looking back at that picture yesterday, y'all, I was sitting there. I was just like, this is what I was laid up in the hospital crying behind. And this is what I kept begging the Lord to, to let me marry and, and, and bear a child with this man. Like... I really did get angry yesterday, y'all. I'm talking about the, the memories came flooding back. It was something different. I hadn't, I, I mean, I go through little things when I get in my, my thoughts or whatever, but I hadn't seen his face since the 27th of January. And when I seen that face, I got angry. I did. Has anybody else ever went through that? Because it's been a minute now. It's been about almost five months since I seen this man face or heard from him or whatever and I'm not looking forward to hearing from him because with the the feelings that I had just looking at the pictures that I've never ever had or experienced before I'm telling y'all out of all the times because normally when we split up or whatever I usually do delete his pictures and everything like that and you know it might be a straggler somewhere or whatever but I ain't never felt what I felt yesterday when I ran across the picture. And maybe that's because I didn't know the truth then, but I know the truth now. And baby, I'm telling you, I had a whole different experience yesterday. I mean, I got angry. I was so mad. And I think I was mad at myself because what I really thought I seen was not what was there. It was not there. It wasn't real. And the fact that I know I could be a player. All the games that he played with me, I know I could have played them back with him. And I had hurt his feelings. You know what I'm saying? But at least, like, I mean, I'm just keeping it real, y'all. Because this is how I really be thinking. You know what I'm saying? But dang, if, if you're going to play games with me, at least be fine. You know, at, at least be something. That I could be like, yeah, he played me, but baby, he was fine. I, I got to give him that. But I can't give him that because 
the image that I had of him was still of him when he was younger, when I was crazy in love with him. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm older and he's older, I had my chance with him. And so obviously that look that he had when we was younger is the look that I carried on into this relationship. And it wasn't real because that's not what he looked like now. It's not. We look like total opposites. We can walk around together. I would be all nice, cleaned up and everything. He'll be, maybe have a good hairdo on his head, but he's still in these work clothes. They got his phone number on it. So I guess he hoping somebody will just randomly call his phone number. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's so much to, to all of this madness that I have, you know what I'm saying? That I've dealt with with this man. But yeah. I just had to come back and um, answer that that question because um, now he he wasn't not the way that, because you would think that all the junk that he done done and the way he done played with me you would think this man fine like whoever the the finest celebrity you think he is you, you would think that this man if, if he playing games with me like this or play, she playing games with him like that. She better be fine. She better be cute. But I mean, that's not the important part, y'all. Don't get lost in that because I know some people going to come for me in the comments about, oh, the looks are not important, this, that, and the third. No, they're not. But I'm just telling you how I kept the face from him being younger on his adult face that he looked like now. I was still holding on to that look. And that's not what was in front of me. So yeah, in my mind, he was fine. He was sexy. He was this, he was that. But in reality, when I looked at that picture, that picture showed me what he looked like every single day. And I was just like, dang it. You, you sat right here and you just let this fool that like a straight bomb take you up and through the mud for four and a half years, girl. You could have been with somebody way finer and let them run you through the mud. But the, the goal is to not let nobody run me through the mud. And I'm not saying that that's a good thing, y'all. I'm just saying, I'm trying to break down the difference in the best way that I can of me just keeping it real. If you gonna, if I'm gonna let somebody play with me, at least be fine, be, be something that I can be like, well, yeah, girl, he played me like a dog, but he was fine though you know what I'm saying and I can't say that in this case because he had the color of the, of the man that I like I, I, he got the color skin that I love on the man he got that hands down so maybe I put that above everything else because he was the right skin color that just drives me crazy or whatever you know what I'm saying y'all know what I'm trying to say but that and his smile is what got me and then the things that he did in the beginning he I felt like he was my knight in shining armor so when that happened the looks everything else went out the window because that wasn't even important no more so but we done been through all of that if you ain't heard the stories go back in those videos and, and catch all of that so you can catch up to now but I love you guys. Thank y'all for listening to my shenanigans all the time. I appreciate y'all all the love, support, the likes, subscribes, and the comments. Y'all keep me going. Y'all doing this. We healing together. And all I'm doing is just keeping it real. I'm telling y'all my story. I ain't telling you no lies because I ain't got no reason to lie to you. I done been lied to enough. I don't need to tell nobody no lies. I need to start telling somebody my truth that I had to hold in for so long. I'm finally releasing them and I feel free and I feel good. And I want y'all to do the same thing. Whatever it takes for y'all to feel free, to be yourself, to fall in love with yourself and do whatever makes you feel good because you deserve it and you worth it. And I love you. We having a bad day. We going through something. Let's get in these comments and lift each other up. That's what we've been doing already. So I ain't asking us to do nothing that we ain't already doing. Let's lift each other up every day. Because it's hard out here. You can't help who your heart love. But at some point, we got to love ourselves more. 
we do and i used to stick by that word all the time oh i i can't help who my heart loves yes i can yes i can i can't help who my heart loves but i can help i can i can put my foot down and not let somebody keep mistreating me or hurting me or doing things to me that i don't like things that i don't do to myself i don't need to sit here and allow somebody else to do them to me because that's that's not the kind of energy that i'm bringing to you don't bring me that energy give me back the same energy i'm giving you even though i know it don't work like that but hey if that ain't the energy you giving we got to go ahead and learn how to move out the way all right that ain't the kind of energy that i'm looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and scoot on over and i'm gonna go on somewhere else till i feel like the energy is right over here so just keep loving on yourself y'all it's so important that we do that okay let's continue to grow and heal let's grow something in the ground because we don't know what the world coming to and what what's going on with this food and everything so long as we stay ready we ain't got to get ready and if we got something planted in the yard we got something to eat so start planting and growing your own food y'all i love y'all i want to keep seeing us thriving and growing and loving on ourselves so let's do it y'all it's the weekend <laughs> let's get it